You really can't see a lot of the damage the fire left behind, but residents from six apartments don't have a home tonight. Now, fire officials say this could have been much worse. When crews arrived, they didn't know if anyone was still inside the building or even where the fire started. Didn't see anything. The smoke was banking down. Visibility was really poor. And after searching nearly all of the rooms in the lower apartment, Captain John Stapleton and firefighter Larry Jackson found the back bedroom. We could see that the bed was there. It looked like someone had been in it, but there wasn't anybody. We searched as best we could, couldn't see anything. We we're about to move to one last room, and I told Larry, "Hang on, I hear something." I could hear people upstairs, and I could hear probably them spraying the water. I could hear that noise, but I was like, "No, I don't hear anybody." I told him just be quiet, and he said, "No, nah, that's just the guys upstairs and the steam." I said, "No, quiet." And you heard this real low. It was just a like growl moan. Just they dropped to the ground and found a woman wedged between the closet and the bedroom. Resuscitation efforts began immediately while other residents watched. It was taking a while. We thought she was gone for sure. But their efforts paid off. To have my hand on her pulse and feel that go from barely nothing and growing, that was a great feeling. While there is no information available right now about the victim, firefighters say she's expected to make a full recovery. In a fire, it's noisy. Things are breaking, fires going, There's, there are sounds of all over the place. And to hear her, it, it just it's just a miracle, and I'm just, I'm, I'm just so thankful to God that we did here. Well, investigators say they still don't know what caused the fire. In East Tulsa, Brianne Palmerini, 2 News, works for you.